and this is for them. It's had a really huge impact on your family. You, you're not able to look after your kids at the moment. I haven't been working. Like, I'm a single mum. It's not easy. Hello, I'm Paul Barry. Welcome to Media Watch. And that was single mum Ramona, one of 700 COVID patients hospitalised in Australia at the end of last month, who, along with two others in Sydney's Concord Hospital, was keen to warn people of the dangers of COVID by sharing heartbreaking stories about their illness from their hospital beds. So please get vaccinated. Oh. Wish I did it beforehand. Shortness in breath, something attacking the, the lungs. It was, it was harsh. Footage of those patients, identified only by their first names, was recorded by Dr Lucy Morgan and released by New South Wales Health and made it onto all the major networks, including ABC News, 10 News First and 7 News. But soon, people on social media were wondering if the New South Wales Health video was actually a fake. And among the sceptics was former One Nation Senator Rod Cullerton, whose post received thousands of likes and another former senator, David Lionhelm. And one intrepid TikToker who went digging was able to reveal... I found all three actors. Now, how can this be coincidental? Yes, all three, including Ramona, were supposedly paid crisis actors who did not have COVID at all. And another internet sleuth then set out to prove it, ringing Concord Hospital to show that Ramona Khoury was not a patient there. Hello, is this Concord Hospital? John Terry, I'm just uh, looking for my wife. Hey. Uh, Ramona Curry. I just can't see anyone with that surname. Well, bingo. That video, which TikTok only removed today, had nearly 800,000 views. 